The Queen, 95, has faced a difficult year as the head of state in 2021 following the death of Prince Philip. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have also made accusations against the royal family after detailing their time in time. But journalist Tessa Dunlop has claimed the bigger crisis is Prince Andrew who is being sued by Virginia Jufri for allegedly sexually assaulting her when she was a teenager, a claim he vehemently denies. Speaking to Palace Confidential on Mail Plus, Ms Dunlop said, We all start front-footing on Meghan and Harry when to me the far bigger crisis is Andrew. It's more the long-term one, it's the more serious one and it actually has very dark repercussions. In a way, Harry and Meghan are the soap opera and this is potentially very sinister stuff. Altogether it's very ugly mood music on the other side of the Atlantic. The lawyer representing the Duke of York's accuser has warned against anyone ignoring the US courts as he claimed the royal's legal team have stonewalled appeals for information. Ms. Jufri claims she was trafficked by Andrew's former friend and convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein to have sex with the Duke, when she was aged 17 and a minor under US law. David Boyes, who represents Ms. Jufri, said his client ultimately wanted vindication from her civil suit for damages. Andrew has vehemently denied the allegations in the past, and a spokesman for the Duke said there was no comment when she was asked to respond to Ms. Jufri's legal action. According to the Daily Mail, the Duke was seen arriving at the Royal Scottish Retreat of Balmoral Castle on Tuesday evening and was thought to have been accompanied by his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson. Mr. Boyce told Channel 4 News, This is now a matter for courts to decide and it would be very ill-advised for anyone to sort of thumb their nose at a federal court. He claimed Andrew's lawyers have not cooperated, they have just totally stonewalled. They have refused to provide any explanation, they refuse to engage in any discussions. They refuse to provide any facts, they've even refused to respond to any of the allegations that have been made in any reasonable way. They have basically simply ignored every letter, every phone call, every outreach that we've made. The Duke does not have to attend or give evidence in the civil proceedings in New York, but the legal action will be a further blow to his reputation and the standing of the monarchy, according to Joe Little, managing editor of Majesty magazine. He said about the Epstein scandal, it's damaging not only for Andrew but for the institution of the monarchy itself because all sorts of allegations have been thrown at the institution since all this came to light, and the perception is, most likely incorrectly, they are not taking it seriously. Andrew stepped back from public duties after the backlash from his 2019 Newsnight interview, dubbed a car crash, which had attempted to draw a line under his relationship with Epstein, but instead saw him heavily criticized for showing little empathy with the sex offenders' victims.